Hey guys, it's Ab Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, two paintings that I just finished doing, Chris Cornell and Kurt Cobain. So I've been busy doing that, trying to purge some energy. <clears throat> so um, today is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for um, May the 30th until June the 7th. 2017. So I'm going to be using um, John Holland as well as this uh, fairy the Norman. So I'll just give those a quick shuffle. So the energy has been really heavy for me lately. Um, finding it difficult to talk and the throat chakra keeps coming up in the readings. Uh, so communication is, seems to be a, a big energy right now. Um, so if you need to express yourself um, and you feel that you're unable to do it, you know, use other forms like um, being creative or um, even just writing a letter to yourself just to get that, you know, energy out of your system. So I'm going to be doing a split divine partnership reading. And I'm going to alternate between these two decks here. So I'm going to also use my deck. Okay. So beginning with how the feminine views the relationship with the masculine. Hope. Star card. So you see him as that star in the sky. You hold him in your hands. Um, you protect him. You love him. Um, and this has to do with wish granted. So you feel like he is your wishes come true. Um, so this card also comes after a difficult period of time. So it's here to offer hope um, that the worst is over now. Page of Wands. Three of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. So, Page of Wands represents communication. Uh, this was the energy you were bringing into the union. So, there's this energy of being happy and excited and, you know, like there's this new beginning. You're feeling optimistic about the future. Uh, the Page of Wands is all about, you know, starting a new life, but following your higher calling, your spiritual journey. Um, so this is gasoline being poured on the fire. So when you think of the masculine, you feel excited, optimistic, um, and hopeful for the future. Uh, this could also represent good news. Uh, so maybe you are um, communicating with your masculine, or will be. Um, the Three of Cups represents love, a love connection shared between two people. Uh, so when two people come together, you know, it's that third energy of love that's being represented here and celebrating that love um, and knowing what true love is because it moves through you and makes you feel excited and happy and, you know, emotionally blissful. So you are happy about this connection. You feel more connected to your masculine spiritually and you're optimistic. So the Eight of Pentacles, <clears throat> this showed up in the recent past position uh, for you in the Twin Flame reading. So this is working really hard at something, you know, in the 3D, trying to manifest this, this Ten of Pentacles life for yourself. So, you know, Spirit is recognizing you for being on the right path and putting a lot of work and effort into this connection. And, you know, because of that, this beautiful energy is coming towards you. Wish granted. What are you resisting? Sacral chakra. So, um, a lot of sh chakra activation is going to be happening this, you know, coming week. Um, so this has to do with your emotions, uh, where your emotions are stored. So you're resisting communicating um, your emotions is what I'm seeing here. You know, um, with the twin flame readings, there was a sense of the feminine wanting to communicate and there being a block of some kind of resistance. So now this emotional 
chakra is showing up in the resisting position and it's telling me that you know she's resisting feeling her emotions um, fully um, because she wants to communicate with the masculine okay seven of pentacles yeah that's what I thought two of wands and six of wands so the seven of pentacles waiting um, you know putting a lot of work and effort into something and waiting for that return the harvest so it's gestation pregnant pause um, the two of wands represents making a decision in the past that was based on your higher calling and then going forward with it so it's being represented by that page of, of wands there it's you know being optimistic and excited about this new journey this decision uh, of taking this new you know path uh, new road and being excited about that so again it's in the resisting position so she's it's like she's holding back her emotions um, even though she feels that she's on the right path spiritually she's just kind of holding back this explosive happy energy uh, the six of wands represents success victory it's being illuminated it's being placed on a pedestal you're a rock star and everyone's cheering for you they're proud of you see you as an example um, so there's you know again there's this happy energy but again a sense of resistance and um, I'm feeling a stillness here um, like even though she's resisting expressing her emotions um, she's grounded again with the seven of Pentacles and is looking towards her future and it's bright and optimistic and hopeful okay so message from the higher self rest and rejuvenation so this is all about retreating um, resting quieting the mind in order to make decisions and the masculine got this card in his reading so you know there's a sense of him retreating in order to heal him, himself and then um, that way he can make a decision about the 3d world so, but it's coming in from your higher self. Sacro Chakra again. Two Pentacles. And wow, Ace of Cups. So, again, with the emotions, um, you know, uh, your higher self is telling you to quiet your mind. Uh, continue to be in this restful state. Um, you know, maybe there's some fears being activated or just some negative energy from the outside that is clouding your judgment. Um, and again, it has to do with emotions. So, you know, again, feeling held back, but spirit or your higher self is telling you to find that silence, that stillness. The Two of Pentacles is the wind of change. Um, so it's, you know, an energy of change occurring in your environment and trying to find balance you know ground that energy so this could also be pulled in you know being pulled in two different directions as well um, and spirit again is asking you to ground yourself uh, but also keep your heart open and stay optimistic um, you know there's this wind of change occurring that you're not really aware of. There's this positive energy that's surrounding you. Um, well, maybe you are aware of it. <laughs> you know, you seem pretty happy when you think of the connection. But ultimately, you know, not just thinking about the connection, but just feeling happy and, you know, open in everyday life. You know, finding that peace, that balance, and... Just stay open, I think your higher self is telling you. The Ace of Cups represents a brand new beginning of love. So there's this energy of love coming towards you. You're surrounded by love. Um, but you're asked to find silence and stillness. But stay open. Okay, so recent past. Wow, <laughs> that's hilarious. The masculine got this card in the exact same position. Um, for his reading so there was a connection between the two of you or knowing and 
you know, an aha, an awakening. Um, so you were this loving empress, goddess of love, and you were grounded. And what I'm seeing here is it initiated an energy. Um, and I'm feeling that energy is now coming back to you. So let's see what happened in the past. Four of Swords. Magician. Wow. King of Cups. So repeated energy of the masculine, you know, retreating in order to still his mind, find peace and tranquility um, in order to make a decision and, you know, heal his heart. And then there was this like, aha, um, there was this activation of the crown chakra. The magician is the master manifester. He pulls thoughts and ideas from the source and manifests them into the 3D. So very powerful energy of crown chakra being activated this week. Uh, but there's a sense that he went through that activation and realized that he can create a life different, um, you know, one that's more in line with who he truly is. And as a result of this aha, um, you know, there was this heart chakra activation as well because we got the king of cups being represented here kurt cobain again um so you know this is someone who is very deeply loving and pure love um so this rest this retreat um you know had to do with your grounding um you're very patient and allowing and you know giving this unconditional love to the masculine while he was able to process inf this information and come into this knowing which ultimately opened his heart chakra and um so there was this love connection you know that was deepened and that's why you are so goddamn happy recently okay so present position 10 um so this is kind of like the Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. It's an ending. Um, it could also represent harvest, but it's like cutting away all the stuff you don't need anymore. Seven of Swords. Solar Plexus Chakra. And Page of Cups. Uh, so here we got that communication thing happening again. So Seven of Swords represents looking over your shoulder, feeling like someone's stabbing you in the back, not telling you the whole truth. Um, so there's a feeling of you trying to find power in order to end a negative situation or walk away from uh, something that is really not helping you. Um, it's draining your energy. It needs to come to an end. Um, so there's a questioning, a wondering a contemplation energy with, with you currently while you're in this pause. Uh, so the solar plexus chakra, this is finding courage, strength um, in order to deal with this negative energy and put something to an end. And this is the energy that you're bringing in um, as a crowning energy. So it's, you know, providing strength um, for yourself in order to move forward, but also for the masculine. So you know, I'm feeling, you know, there's this two ways to see the future. Either you can look back and see the negative or you can look to the future and see love. Okay, so it's like, um, you know, that balancing kind of energy that I was talking about. And the twin flame as well is in the masculine reading. It's, um, you know, a reflection of one another. If you're feeling negative, then the masculine will you know, manifest that energy in his life and it'll be reflected back to you. So either you can choose to view this as a negative situation, the silence, this withdrawal, uh, and uh, be fearful and then have that energy reflected back. Or you can be in a place of love um, and, you know, grounded and, um, you know, being emotionally balanced like the King of Cups is. Just, you know, deeply feeling. So the Page of Cups also represents communicating your love. So the Page is a muse. Someone who um, inspires poets and painters. Um, so 
the feminine would like to communicate her love for the masculine and there's a sense of her needing courage and power strength in order to do that um, or finding the courage and strength not to let go of the connection there's like an energy of her wanting to end something and walk away but then she she stopped at the door by this page of cups going no no you're you know you're 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 being held um, together with your twin through the ethereal that you know that cord of light uh, that connects the two of you is infinite it cannot be broken um, so if you try to walk away you're always going to be pulled back you know so this is an energy that needs to be released within yourself so find that strength um, to to purge whatever neg negativity might be creeping up still okay so future position purity so this is wise um, um, more like a, an elder type of energy someone who has gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge like that older man in the picture um, and you know now he's at this place where his soul is pure you know he offers this wis wisdom and knowledge um, through pure purity much like a child like a baby is pure this older man is pure uh, so this also has to do with dealing with the past and um, you know dealing with past situations in an honorable way so you know the main energy is purity Four of Pentacles, King of Swords, Ten of Swords. So the Four of Pentacles represents somebody being closed off. Um, you know, just not letting anybody in, holding on too tightly to material possessions, not sharing. Um, or this could be, you know, somebody holding on too tightly to you. The King of Swords could represent an air sign, but what I'm feeling here is this emotional disconnect. Um, we got closing off. Uh, the King of Swords, <clears throat> sorry, is an air sign. It's more they're emotionally disconnected. Uh, they're more thought, um, you know, in you know, they're more about communication and thought. And the Ten of Swords represents an ending, cutting that off. So in the future position, there's a sense of this closing off, this unemotional detachment comes to an end. The Ten of Swords is an ending. Um, so it's, you know, the dark night of the soul. It's being stabbed in the back, you know, ten times and being left for dead. Uh, the King of Swords you know, has a sword as well and cuts away negativity, darkness, has mental clarity. Um, so, once again, there's this pinnacle energy, 3D closure being cut off and then an opening with the king, mental clarity. Um, but there's, an, like I said, there's an emotional detachment there. He gained that clarity by being emotionally detached. Um, and, you know, he cut away this negativity, this cut, um, this feeling of being closed off, and then um, there's a sense of him coming into this wise soul. So for your see, this is all masculine energy that, that I'm picking up on. So there's a sense that you know you guys had that connection in the past. It was deep, soulful. Uh, there was a beginning, then a retreat, which is causing some disconnect and confusion and you know feeling betrayed but ultimately you need to release that energy um, and then there's this what I'm feeling is an opening coming into truth a masculine energy comes towards you a very wise pure soul remember this is the main card and these are the confirmation so they're sub energies the main card is purity and that's kind of what you know the king of swords represents as well it's like not being controlled by your emotions um, you know the king of cups feels things deeply emotionally 
although he is, you know, uh, balanced, um, the, the king of swords is someone who can detach emotionally so that they can make decisions. Um, so, yeah, there's, I'm going to pull one clarifier card for that. So we can try to make sense of how that relates to the feminine energy. I, I just see this masculine. Um, this could also represent that you will be ending something um, in the future. Maybe, you know, you, you're, attached, you're attached to masculine energy, which, you, which is causing you to feel closed off. Whoa, okay, so car just jumped out. A burden, six of swords. So yeah, there's something that you need to release, detach yourself from. So let me get the book. Okay, so when we carry a load um, of shoulds and shouldn'ts imposed on us by others, we become like this ragged, struggling figure trying to make his way uphill. Go faster, try harder, reach the top, shouts the foolish tyrant he carries on his shoulders, while the tyrant himself is crowned with an imperious rooster. If life these days feels like just a struggle from the cradle to the grave, it could be time to shrug your shoulders and see what it feels like to walk without these characters on your back. You have your own mountain to conquer, your own dreams to fulfill, but you will never have the energy to pursue them until you release yourself from all expectations. There we go. Um, you're gathered from others, but now think are your own. Chances are they exist only in your mind, but that doesn't mean they can't weigh you down. It's time to lighten up and send them on their way. So, yeah, in the future, you will be releasing something. And, you know, I'm feeling that, you know, that burden will be released, that energy that um, perhaps that waiting and it will come in with this new beginning, with this purity, pure energy. Now, the masculine got the high priest twice in how he views a relationship. So the fact that the high priest showed up twice, you know, in the same position is very powerful energy. And I see it almost as this, you know, old man here, wise old man, wise soul. Um, and same thing with the king of swords too, very wise, knowledgeable. So, you know, maybe that's a masculine coming in because something was released. You know, you're, you had attachments to the masculine uh, that was ultimately holding you back, this fear, this, you know, looking over your, your shoulder. Okay, so put those away. And message from the universe, nine of pentacles, material harvest. So this is, um, it's manifesting um, a harvest into the 3D so it's like ripeness the the fruit is ready to drop from the branch branches so um, you know it's that payoff coming so spirit is telling you that this abundance is coming um, so you know stay grounded and be optimistic devil seven of wands and nine of swords so um a lot of negative energy here but then we got that seven of wands in the middle so the devil again you know um, this the devil showed up in the past position uh in the twin flame reading that showed up twice actually you'll have to check it out but it is a heavy energy okay so there's a chain that is preventing this abundance from fully manifesting into your world so this represents a physical world so the chain could be a codependent relationship um, self-limiting beliefs you know fears that are keeping you know this negative energy 
um, to continue to be manifested in your life. Um, so something needs to be released um, before this harvest can fully come in. The Seven of Wands, again, it talks about finding your power, your strength, um, knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing them. So um, never giving up, never surrendering, finding your strength. Again, repeated theme with the feminine. So it's, you know, that energy is being directed at the devil. The Nine of Swords keeps showing up um, for this next week as well. It's, you know, being trapped by fear, uh, stress, anxiety, unable to sleep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling this heavy chain and the need to find your strength in order to pull um, yourself out of this darkness. So this could be the masculine energy being represented as well because I was feeling this devil energy was coming from the masculine side in the twin flame reading and the masculine got this card twice. So, you know, I'm feeling, you know, maybe you're providing strength and, and power and courage for him to overcome this negative. Um, but ultimately, <clears throat> you guys reflect each other. So if there's something he needs to release, there's something you need to release as well in order to come into, you know, complete balance. So manifest manifestation is coming. Harvest is coming. Arrival. You know, being able to enjoy life in the 3D. Or, you know, maybe this the masculine feels like he doesn't have, you know, anything to offer the feminine, perhaps in the 3D, and it's being blocked by this illusion, you know, of material possessions and self-worth you know basing your self-worth on material possessions I don't know okay so in your environment well divine masculine so you recognize him as the divine masculine here you are divine feminine um, so you you know he's your twin flame is what I'm reading from that pretty much. Well, there you go. Lover's card. Five of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> so here we've got this Five of Cups uh, energy being reflected on your side. Um, I made reference to the fact that, you know, the Five of Cups showed up twice in the masculine sphere position. Uh, the main card was masculine energy and then the confirmation card was a feminine Five of Cups. So I was saying, you know, this reflection, if you're sad, she'll be sad. So the feminine um, is feeling this sadness, this long, longing, this loss of her masculine um, and desires a union. And she feels wounded and she feels like giving up. So the lover's card is recognition of the twin flame, desiring the twin, um, but it's longing for union. It's that deep, you know, love, connection of the soul. And because that connection is so strong, it's causing her sadness. So this is grieving for the loss of this love. Um, but, you know, tears are healing rain. So purge, you know, whatever sadness might be, you know, blocking this connection from really happening needs to be released. So the Nine of Wands, again, Wounded Warrior, it's being beaten down over and over and over again and feeling like you want to give up and walk away. Uh, but Spirit is telling you not to give up. Give it that final push. So you feel the masculine energy surrounding you. That connection is there. So focus on that. Focus on the love that you feel for the masculine and stay optimistic and hopeful. You know, don't allow this fear and pain to consume you. So what is the feminine fear? Wow, a new beginning. So you got this for the final outcome. Um, and the masculine got it in his present position. So you want a new beginning. You want to take a leap of faith, and you, but yet you fear it. Maybe you fear it's not going to come. Um, but ultimately, you're in control of your own destiny. You can choose to have a new beginning right now if you wanted to. Um, Let's see what else 
comes with that strength card, five of swords, and the star card again. So a strength card using kindness, love, compassion in order to deal with something. So you need to walk away from a negative energy and you're trying to find strength and courage once again, repeated energy, in order to walk away from that negativity. So this could be a state of mind um, or it could be an actual new beginning. The full card is, you know, walking away from your old life and just taking that leap of faith, looking at the future through a child's eyes and just moving forward. No attachments, no connections, no nothing. So the Five of Swords, you had this in your recent past position, so there's an energy, this negative finger pointing um, that you're picking up on that needs to be released and you need to do it using love and kindness but you fear doing it, you fear walking away you fear this new beginning um, but Spirit is saying if you do that then your wishes will be granted you got the star card and how you see the relationship and <clears throat> Spirit is saying that if you take this leap of faith that that will manifest in your life but something needs to be released first so yeah and the, that the worst is over now you know so be hopeful. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Seven of Pentacles waiting. So again, you know, this, um, what Spirit is asking you to do during this pregnant pause or reevaluation phase while you're waiting for the harvest is to, you know, just look through your past, see where you made mistakes, and then that way you're more prepared for the future. So, it also has to do with, you know, making decisions for the future while you're in this pause. So once again, we got that, that stillness that needs for retreat and silence, stillness and looking after yourself. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Mist and Mermaids. So this will be a message from the universe. Hamadryad Lake. Okay, so the lake she looks alluring, home to fairy folk and frog. Yet beneath the placid glass lies an enchantress in the bog. She drinks her fill of innocence and sups upon your soul, withering your sense of self until her bowels are full. A vulnerable nymph rests herself beside a mystical lake. It is a beautiful, magical place, and she finds herself drawn into a false sense of security, not knowing of the deception waiting for her below the surface. So the message is, beware deception and enchantment. A female with bad designs will seek to lead you astray when you are at your most vulnerable. She may be enchanting, but do not allure, allow her to lure you down an improper path. Though you may feel defenseless, know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you will not be led astray. Keep your wits about you. The nephorous female in question may not be a stranger, or may be a stranger. She may be someone you already know, whose goals are at odds with your own. Whether she is trusted colleague, a long-term acquaintance, a dazzling new friend, do not be deceived by the glamour of what she proposes. If a situation sounds too good to be true, trust your gut instinct. It is a deception. So there we go again with this deceptive energy, you know, feeling like you're being deceived. And maybe you are. Or maybe these are just thoughts in your head, you know, self-limiting beliefs that are causing you the stress. You know, maybe these are thoughts that are coming from your masculine. Uh, yeah, so... It started off pretty hopeful and optimistic, um, but then, you know, these negative thoughts and fears start to creep in. So, um, yeah, what I'm feeling for the next week for the masculine or for the feminine is to find that strength, that courage, that power to keep going and don't give up. So don't allow fear to uh, elude you. 
All right, so let me know if this resonated. Love you, girls. Cheers.